Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're, uh, we're still on it, back on it for another day. I feel like I say that every time, but we're just hammering it out as quickly as we can so we can get into primer. So yesterday's vid, we, uh, we got these all bent up. I'm gonna get, uh, Davey's gonna come and weld those up for us. And today, I'm gonna get on these back, back lights cut out. Um, it's a little bit more difficult. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it, kind of give myself a bit of room. Um, and then slowly grind back so that we're exactly where we need to be, but That's what we're gonna work on today. That's what I'm gonna work on today Jay's been working on Mocking up this trailer that he's making For his Harley Just so that he's got uh, he can take stuff with him He's got a fender on there So he's just mocking it up. It's gonna be uh, we'll get Dave again I feel bad Dave does all of our uh, all of our fabrication but Dave's gonna mock up a trailer arm to come off the back of the bike and then uh, and then to the to the back wheel there we'll have to make some brackets and whatnot and then we're gonna paint it up the same color as the bike so it'll be the same orange and black um, same kind of style as the bike so he's been plucking away and playing with that this morning and uh, yeah I'm gonna get on the uh, back lights and I might make a video I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna go buy them I've come up with uh, an idea about how to mount. I don't like the way the, they ask for the kit to be mounted um, because once those quarters are on, there's no way that I can get my hand up in behind there for a bolt or a nut to screw it together. And if you glue it, it can't ever come off and I don't really like that. Um, so for the side skirts to the front fenders and the side skirts to um, the rear quarters and the quarters to the bumper, I've got an idea. Uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and uh, see what we can come up with for uh, for installing that so it's a little bit uh, more user friendly god forbid someone ever backed into the bumper or cracked it or something you need to take it off to get it painted or whatnot um, it's not fixed to the car it's easily removable that kind of thing um, and an update on the rear end uh, so we I cannot find a six-speed manual uh, rear diff I've um, been talking to a lot of shops. I think the route we're going to go is the 8.8 .8 Ford independent rear end uh, with the Grandis Racing, racing um, conversion kit to, uh, to bolt it all up. Uh, I think that's the only route that we're going to be able to go that's going to be somewhat cost effective and uh, that's still going to hold the power. So I did just put an order in today also for most of this stuff, not the suspension. The vote for the suspension ends this week. I left it up for a little bit longer because it's an important vote, but the air system is way out in front, but I ordered up a whole whack load of stuff, uh, e-brake cables and all of the, the brake caliper rebuild kits, uh, knock sensors, O2 sensors, alternator starters, all that little stuff that we need to get going. So we've been uh, been plugging away while I'm while the camera's been shut off. But yeah, today we're gonna uh, we're gonna work on getting these cut out and see if we can get it mocked up. And I've got a supervisor here today. He's doing, uh, he's doing good. He's going to make sure that uh, I'm not screwing this up. <clears throat> I'm not watching porn. <laughs> I did this. We want to make sure that when this car is given away, people know that that line right there was was drawn by Jay Casey. We want to make sure everybody knows that. You know what I mean? That this is the award-winning piece right here. We take it to car shows and win awards. People are gonna be like, man, who who drew this out right here? That's what won the award for sure.
can see in there now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this here, guys, because Jay just left, but let me see if I can get her. So there, once that's glassed in there, it all gets glassed in nicely, it's shifted a little bit. But once that's glassed in there, that's gonna hold the, uh, that's gonna hold the R8 tail light. Uh, uh, right like that, that'll all get glassed in. We'll fiberglass it in and should be good to go. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to uh, clean it up, just clean the edges up and uh, whatnot. And then, uh, and then we'll attack the other side. But overall, um, I do like the way, like I said, with all those curves and concaves, um, I knew that this was going to be one of the harder parts to get that molded in the exact, like exactly fitted the way I wanted to. Um, and obviously we're not going to fiberglass that into the fender or anything until the rear quarter is on. And we've got the tail lights here, which are a nightmare in them in itself. Um, once the tail lights are here and I can put it in and make sure that everything fits and everything lines up the way it's supposed to, um, we can go ahead and, uh, and do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to attack the other side now. So as per usual, the second one definitely went smoother than the first one. Kind of had an idea of where I was going with it and how much extra I had to cut out. Um, you can see it's got to go in a little bit down here. Um, I still need to grind a little bit away, but I've left myself that little bit extra. And like I said, once this is mounted on the car and we've got the taillights and I can see exactly where it needs to go, I'll grind that fine a little bit. I'll do that little bit of fine tuning. But uh, for now, it's in. That's how she's gonna be molded in. That'll hold the whole R8 taillight. So uh, pretty happy with it. Like I said before, um, said in other videos, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going considering I'm not a, uh, I'm not a body guy by any means. So. Um, just taking my time and, and making sure that I'm cutting back a little and a little and a little at a time I'm not over cutting everything's turning out pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it So I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video guys um, I got that done. Like I said Dave's coming to uh, to weld these up. I'll make a video tacking that up We'll cut all that off start putting body fill in and uh, I think that's pretty much uh, the end of of the body work before it can go to primer. Um, so I think after this, the next time you see it, it'll probably be at uh, Paintworks getting primer put on it. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've started to order, you're gonna start seeing lots of parts coming in because I've ordered you know, all those little knickknacks and, and odds and ends pieces. When it comes to the 2J, uh, we're not putting anything used on it. So all the new tensioners and, and uh, timing belt tensioners, new alternators, starters, power steering pumps and racks, uh, hopefully later this week uh, We'll be getting some of the stuff back from powder coating and ceramic coating. I can start doing some reassembly on uh, On the brakes and, and on the cradles and stuff like that But for those, for those of you that are uh, new to the channel, this is a 97 Toyota Supra that we're building um, strictly on the votes of subscribers we're letting the internet build the car and uh, When it's all done said and done we're gonna be giving it away to one lucky subscriber so like I said at the beginning of this video, uh, I'm going to make a video. I've come up with some pretty neat ideas about how we can make the bumpers um, more accessible, removable, I, I guess I should say. Um, so I'm going to talk to Dave because everything involves Dave. You know, we're doing all the custom fab stuff. But um, and I'll probably make a video and show you guys exactly what I'm going to do uh, because I think at the end of the day, it's going to make it a lot easier and more serviceable if you ever have to paint the bumper or do something like that. Um, so I'll make a video on that as well guys, but uh, like I said hit that subscribe button follow us on Facebook Instagram all that stuff And we'll see you in the next video